Hello, YouTuber Wolvers. It's, uh, it's the 7th of, July, of uh, February. It's amazing. In a week, it'll be Valentine's Day. <laughs> is that right? Valentine's Day is on a yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> Not that it matters much to me, but I've already sent out my cards to my daughters and a neighbor that sent me a Christmas card. So I figured I'd send her a Valentine card. I have a neighbor that's actually on all the same dating sites as me. <laughs> it's, it's just a funky thing. You can't help but look when the plow goes by. You kind of wonder if there's something you missed. Um, yeah. So, it's kind of been a topsy-turvy world going on out there. We had, we had the Super Bowl. And we had uh, the inauguration, and we had the protests that occurred after the inauguration and during the inauguration. It seemed like the safest place to be if you were at one of these protests is near the, near the uh, news crews, because that's see they, they were kind of protected well by the police. But uh, it's kind of crazy. Uh, it would be people who were trying to record people that are holding up a sign and. They don't know why they're holding up a sign. They just, they just believe that they should be there. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I think if someone convinced me to go stand out there with a sign, I would believe in what's on the sign, and I could defend what's on the sign, and I could defend my views. And a lot of people watching the videotapes uh, of. Uh, well, basically, they're all InfoWars uh, video, but, you know, the, the, the reporters, they're not like they're trying to instigate anything. They're just going there and saying, tell me what, you, what you're believing in. And, you know, some of the stuff they'll talk about is just, I mean, I'm not a political genius. So it's, it's just a kind of a weird world out there. You know, there's a lot of people, people that believe that they are. Uh, in, in the right, and you know they have a right to their opinion. They have a right to uh, to speak. Now they don't have a right to infringe on other people's rights. Like for example, during the inauguration, when thousands of people wanted to get into the uh, the main mall to watch the inauguration, you know these people didn't have a right to block them and keep people from going in. And they did. And because they were peaceful, you know, the authorities couldn't break up those lines. You know, it's just, and it's the same thing when you go watch these other protests going on. You know, they, it's fine for them to go out there and do their own thing, but, you know, they don't really have a right to be violent and damaged and breaking windows and starting fires. I mean, it is pretty. You know, if you're trying to get your point over, you should just know what you're talking about and how you can defend it. I mean, there was a number of people that could explain their position. They could explain it very clearly that you can understand, at least they understand their position. You know, whether it's accurate or not. Now, there's my daughter calling in. So should I interrupt the conversation and talk to her or call her back and have her yell at me saying, I don't answer the phone? <laughs> uh, you just never know. But it is a funky world. It's, you know, I, I, it's interesting that Trump has, he has been nominated for the, the uh, Nobel Peace Prize, just like uh, President Obama was. You know, they haven't really done anything for peace. It was the same thing with Obama. Obama really didn't do anything to promote peace. To actually cause peace to happen pretty much anywhere. You know, we had riots in the, in the United States throughout his term uh, for police brutality and such. I mean, you know, you know, I don't know. I mean, they're doing the same thing with Trump. He hasn't really done anything. So what? He has opinions and theories and 
some kind of master plan, but unless they actually make it work, you know, why give somebody an award for something that they'd like to do? I mean, I like to go around the world in 90 days, but am I going to do it? No. <laughs> I like to climb, climb Mount Everest. Am I going to do it? No. <laughs> and here she's falling back again because I didn't answer quick enough the first time. <laughs> Is it possible that I'm in the bathroom and I don't want to answer the phone? It is possible. <laughs> now I'm just trying to have to cut it short. But, you know, it's a crazy world. It's just very crazy. And, you know, on my Facebook page, you know, you guys aren't on my Facebook page. Maybe some of you are. But I don't have it public. I have it private. And there are a few there that love... Hillary will love Hillary no matter what. And all right, hold on a sec. Can I call you back? I'm doing a video. Um, I think I'm like lost something. I want to know if it's there. Well, can I call you back in a couple of minutes? I'm doing a video. Say hello to the world. No, I can't pause it. I don't know how to pause it. Oh, come on. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't have a pause button. I have a start and a stop. Then I have to upload it, marry them together. Yeah, well, I can get there, but I'm not there yet. So, at any rate, it's just, uh, it's just a funky world. And uh, there's different kinds of creative things going on. And, you know, a lot of us, a lot of people that do metaphysical work like I do think that they're in the white light and they don't really embrace the dark side. It's two sides. Everything has two sides. And, you know, you have to be able to look at both sides. I feel like it. There's a Hillary, there's a, you know, there's a Trump. I mean, Hillary has her good side. I don't exactly know what it is, but I'm sure someone would tell me. And, you know, Trump has his good sides and he has his bad sides. And everybody speaks out about his bad side. You know. Um, but I don't think people could get up to be President of the United States and be an actual perfect human being. I don't, I don't think it's really where he could be. I just hope that he does what he says he's going to do and make some positive changes for this country. And so far, he's been doing it. He's only been it up in for three weeks now, or two weeks. And he's been making changes. So, you know, try to step back, you know, 10 feet and look at the situation and look at both sides and listen to them and listen to them and, you know, and enjoy. Enjoy. I tell you to go do some snow angels, but it's all ice up. We've had a race icing storm today. And, uh, yeah. So uh, I'm going to share a so to Tuesday video. And uh, it's uh, pretty interesting this week. We're going to uh, do our first in in studio uh, recording of conversations on Friday. That should be exciting. I won't be as nervous as I was last week when we did the when we did the other uh, did the dry run. So as for that, ta ta, enjoy, and dig some dirt.